we spoke about uh, level ice cutting within a thousandth of an inch. How tight is the fast ice system when it relates to disbursement of water? Yep, we're in the same range there in the okay. thousandth of an inch. Then you can control that with that scaling. Um, so then you're putting down that same amount. It paired with a level ice system is perfect, right? Yes. You can cut the same, <laughs> you can cut the same amount that you're putting down yeah. and then you're always at that consistency. So it really reduces the load on, you know, on both sides, one on the, on the chiller and the, and the facility side and the second one on the machine side. You'll always be cutting the same and then you'll always be putting down the same um, and you can just maintain it. And I know you've been around a lot, a lot of uh, facilities yourself, Andrew, and I speak to the NHL. Um, a lot of the NHL facilities have both fast ice and level ice. Maybe you can talk about them and their experiences with what you just spoke to. Sure, yeah. Throughout the week, when they're doing their maintenance cuts for practices and all that, they'll use the automatic mode for level ice mm -hmm. um, and then fast ice as well to build up during that week. Right. They want to build during that week because they're, you know, during those games, it's heavy cuts. You know, you got big guys on the ice yep. making big skate marks. So we got to cut a lot of ice out during that game time. Mm -hmm. So then during the NHL game day, they'll crank it up to 150%, run it on full blast. They'll take level ice, put it in manual mode, mm -hmm. and they'll crank that down so that then they can cut all those skate grooves out of the ice. Right. And on the maximum mode with fast ice, you could put out more water than you can with the traditional flood. Right. And it freezes faster. So gotcha. that allows them to build up that much more ice and maintain that ice level throughout that game. So you've got great ice, it freezes quick, it's super hard, and consistency through all three periods of the right. game. Right. So speaking of building ice, uh, traditional with a, a flood water valve, opening your flood uh, water valve all the way, compared to 150% to scaling or disbursement of water on fast ice. Are you building your ice quicker with fast ice than you would with the traditional hand crank? Have you seen that? Yeah, definitely. It's a, it's a lot quicker. The proof is in the pudding on it. If you know, once you've done that first lap with fast ice, you come back around to hit that second lap, that first lap's already froze up. Wow. So it, it's incredibly quick at how fast it can freeze. Mm -hmm. So in a building process, if you've got to build up quick where you had to cut something out or whatever, you're able to build up with that machine and you can put down more water and it freezes faster and it makes harder ice. You can build up faster, better ice. Right, right. What about utilities? What about uh, efficiencies when it comes to utilities that the arena is using or costing of plant or water? Yeah, because it freezes up faster, you've mm -hmm. got less water sitting on that surface you've got less compressor load trying to freeze that water right right because it's atomized when it hits the ice it freezes up very quickly mm -hmm. um, and then obviously paired with a level ice you have the savings mm -hmm. from, from that um, the other piece from that side is the control it gives you control of how much water you're putting right. out so we don't you're not putting out too much water for what you need and then having to do that extra work to fr to freeze all that extra water that you put down right and then on the next flood you know the machines do an extra work to cut all that ice out right